yesterday oh it was great only bad thing about yesterday was the heat but other than that hanging out with everybody seeing people you don't get to see all the time especially racing against fellow brothers and whatnot it was it was an awesome time at the track How you feeling? Good, good. Bernie, how's it going? Good, good. You ready to, to do another lap? Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, how'd you do your last time? Uh, really bad. We had a massive bear leak and uh, stumbling on the tree trying to keep it running, but uh, I think we got it fixed, so hopefully it'll be better this time. Nice. All right, if y'all want to come inside, I'll show you, uh, we'll show you my mini bike living room and, uh, or uh, I call it mini bike showroom. So y'all come on inside, take a look. All right, I'm Rick Watson. I uh, have a YouTube channel, it's Busted Knuckle Builds. Right now we're currently in my mini bike living room, or I call it mini bike showroom. I'm a hoarder. I like to grab all the old vintage frames that I can and save them. Um, I'm a collector because once I build them, I have so much time into it. A pile of rusty bolts or a rusty frame and, and created something out of it. That part of it, I guess you'd say, was the ledger because once, once I built it and spent the, all that time into it, it's like, I don't want anybody else to have it because I built that. The, the racing part of it, it's like, once you get into racing, it's like, you want to build this bike for this and then you want to build a drag bike to go drag racing. So to answer your question, I guess I'm, I'm kind of a little bit of each one of them, hoarder, collector, a little bit of everything. Uh, I guess I started my YouTube channel way, way back in the day. I was hanging around uh, at one of y'all's events uh, in Oregon, hanging out with uh, John and Isaac, and uh, we were actually showing them some of the bikes that I, I'd built uh, way before I got into mini bike racing or anything else. And they uh, said, man, you ought to start a YouTube channel and show what you're doing and, and you know, get your, get your builds out there so people can see stuff. So that's uh, the wife and I kind of kicked it around. I'm not. Uh, computer savvy at all, but I, I can build stuff. I'm Brandy Watson. I am Miss Knuckles, Queen Bee for photos and everything. And we are in my humble abode of my editing room where I do all Rick's YouTube stuff. How did we meet? We met at a buddy's Christmas party. She was real good friends with some of my friends and uh, she come around at a Christmas party and it was just kind of like, one thing led to another and it's like, hey, do you want to go for a cup of coffee and do you have a problem riding on a motorcycle? And she's like, no, let's, yeah, let's go. And we went on a motorcycle fundraiser ride uh, that next morning. And um, ever since then, it's been kind of just hitting it every day. What really kind of got me into it is I've, I'm always uh, like working on stuff all the time. Dad passed away back in 17, so I was like, I needed something else really to keep, you know, focused on or, or build something else. And uh, I was watching other guys, you know, that were racing mini bikes and doing other things. And I picked up two of the bikes that I have here. You get that addiction and it's, you get one bike and then you want to build this and then you see other things that you can build. So it's, it's just bloomed from there, I guess. Why don't? So majority of all these bikes that are in here, um, I built on the YouTube channel, I'll uh, do a show and tell because people want to know actually, hey, did you build a bike? Does it actually work, ride and function? We just turned this room into uh, my living room since wife has hers, so we just turned this into a uh, mini bike showroom. 
But uh, we got a variety of bikes. Uh, we got some of the wife's bikes. We got a Harrison that she uh, built. It's a Booney bike. Booney bike, I'm sorry. Uh, one of the very first bikes that I built when I got into it was this uh, bird. Very cool. I like all the old style bird bikes. The uh, very first bikes that I threw together uh, when I got into it. I really like the cat bikes. The design of them look really cool. So I'm um, a big fan of the cat duster bikes, uh, especially the Hornets. Favorite build? I guess. Uh, that's hard, man. Every one, um, every one of them in, in one way or another has got its own little favorite, something I, I did to it. Probably, I guess, the, the, my main one is, is the Bonanza Chopper that, that I built. Because it's, I want to say that was one of the very first ones that I just didn't like throw paint on or just put regular bolts back in it. It was every single detail for as far as every little nut and bolt on the carburetor or the engine block or the frame. So that's that bike. Everybody knows Buddy Jeremy. Of course, I'm a Go Power Sports how to keep over there because I'm a daily hat wearer. So you gotta always represent Go Power Sports when I go somewhere, so yes. Over here, this is one of my outlaw bikes that I run. And uh, the green one there I, I run, that's a, that's a methanol motor. This one's still on race gas. So depending on what, what track we're going to, I usually take two different bikes from what I understand, this is the original style doodle bug. It's a fox uh, spirit, I do believe is what it's called. This is an Arco um, that I did something a little different with on my channel. I like to keep the bikes original just because it's the history and the, the age of the bike. I don't like cutting them up. I'm a hoarder. I don't sell bikes. I'm trying to find different ways to make things more different on the, on the channel. You know, so I'm not the same guy just restoring another bike, something different. So, so. She came up with the idea to redo one of her bikes. And I'm like, well, hey, that's, you're gonna have to be on camera if, if you wanna do this. So she's like, fine, well, I'll be on camera. So I think that's something a lot of people have messaged me and, and wanna see more of her out in the shop helping me do something. Cause she, she can build stuff and put motors together and everything. So I'm thinking that would be something more people would like to see. Yes, my dad was uh, into uh, drag racing. Since I was knee high, I have uh, pictures of me being at the drag strip with my hair headphones and stuff. I've always been around my father when he was doing mechanics and still am. All right, are we on? Yeah, are we do look good. How's my hair look? Looks good. She is very helpful, especially she's my, I basically turned her in the job of picking out colors. Let's go get pedicures. They have array of colors. Let's just see, find out what you might like and see about it maybe in a week, what you would want to change. And so that's how we pick out mini bike colors. She's a tremendous help in, in a lot of my builds, almost like every one of them. So this is a, uh, Pretty much where I do all the videos that you see, I usually have a, a table with a bike or a different project going on. I don't do more than uh, uh, one project at a time. Usually I have different things going on. This is pretty much where I build everything. Got a weld over here that I do my welding and, and cutting in that area. Right now, sometimes I'll actually build a motor. I have two uh, old school flatheads that I'm building and I have the bikes lined out, which I haven't even picked out a color or anything, but at least I can get a motor built and then I'll go find a bike in my my stash pile, bring it out and just a different project that I'm going to build. So sometimes I'll start with building the motor before I ever even figure out what bike that I'm going to build. People ask me, they're like, do you really need all these tools? And it's, yeah, all the toolbox and drawers are full and it all depends on what I'm working on is what, what box I go to, to for whatever I'm working on. Yeah. Or no. Light on? Okay. All right, this is the other side of my shop, which is a teetotal mess, but these are a lot of other bikes that are, uh, some need to be worked on, some I've got to go through and do maintenance on, but a lot of these are other bikes over here, are uh, ones we'll actually come out and jump on, depending on where we're gonna go ride somewhere. Uh, so a lot of these bikes are actually functioning riding bikes that we uh, use quite often. This is a C10 project, I'm a, I'm a Chevy guy, of course, this is a, a 67 C10 project that I'm working on, and obviously I got more mini bikes that I'm working on than the truck, so I need to try and get back on my truck project um, at some point down the road. Okay, 
This is a uh, this is my 1956. It's a Chevy Bel Air. Um, I bought this car. It was all original. I've had this car almost 30 years. Um, I rebuilt it in a two-car garage a few years back. I went through every nut and bolt on the whole car. So I did a frame off restoration on it. So it normally sits here. We live in a college town. I don't like to get it out that much, um, just because people don't know how to drive. But um, it's uh, it's different. I wanted something that's completely orange that stuck out. So it's orange inside and out. Uh, 327 small block uh, automatic transmission. Just kind of a, a weekend cruiser if we go to a local car show. Old school horn. Yeah, it's been a great weekend, and I'm extremely glad that y'all were able to come down and hang out and uh, check out the place. So anytime y'all want to come back down and uh, see what else is new and what other bikes or whatever I've, I've built or whatnot, hang out. Uh, you feel more than welcome to.